We are here on a hot summer day here along Lake Huron. Hey everyone, Scott, and welcome to Lexington, Michigan. Back in its day, Lexington used to be a very large port here along Lake Huron. Um, in the Thumb area, there used to be a, a lot of lumber industry, and this is where they used to ship out the lumber out to the lake, and for the most part, heading down toward Port Huron through the St. Clair River and down toward Detroit. But nowadays, it's a very popular tourist destination, especially on a holiday weekend like today. Oh. <laughs> Almost lost my hat there. But yeah, De definitely a nice day to come over here, but on a holiday weekend, you may struggle to find parking. So you almost may want to come early or just get lucky. But yeah, we're over here at a state-owned boat, boat launch where you can uh, go into the harbor over here and head out to Lake Huron. We'll come back over to to Lake Huron a little bit on the other side of the marina because there's a little walkway over at the park nearby, which will take us out over there. So almost do like a like a large semicircle. So we're gonna head into the main part of the village first. So we're just gonna go that way. And here we are in downtown Lexington, and there are a lot of people out on about today. So let's go take a walk around. But yeah, we're at the main intersection of M25 and M90. As you can tell, a lot of people are coming up to Lexington or even going further north up to Harbor Beach, Port Sanilac, or even all the way up to Port Austin. But yeah, a little quieter as you come over here. But yeah, really quick, let's head down that way. There's a very historic church down that way, and after that we'll come back up here. Hey, we come over to the south part of downtown Lexington. Look how beautiful this church is. This is the Trinity Episcopal Church. This church was built back in 1874. It wasn't originally the, the Trinity Episcopal Church, though, it was because that was named to that in 1972. It originally was called the Church of the Good Shepherd. Let me get on this side so we can see a little more of the church. But yeah, this is beautiful. And come back over here to the main intersection and got uh, the Moore Library. Definitely one of the smallest libraries I've ever seen, but that doesn't mean it's not cool though. But yeah, I had no idea the Cadillac House closed. It ended up closing a little over a year ago. It's kind of a shame. Oh well. All right, I need to cross over this busy road as there's some more things to see before we head back over to the water. One thing I love about checking out Michigan villages and cities is there's history everywhere you go. Over there we have the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the uh, Lexington Brewing Company. However, it was not always that. Uh, the building's been around since the 19th century and it used to be the, the original village hall for Lexington. And there's even a Masonic temple on the third floor of the building. So yeah, when things get moved or closed down or, or anything like that, it's really nice to see historic buildings find second life. Because as you can tell, look at all the people that eating there right now, or drinking there right now. It's just wonderful. All right, so let's head down that way next. 
If you're looking for a place to stay here in Lexington, there are quite a few different bed and breakfasts. Uh, like here's one right here. We have the Captain's Quarters Inn. It was built back in 1859 by Charles Moore. And then also a little fun fact too, his daughter Mary Moore got married to Michigan State Senator Albert Sleeper. They were married in this house back here in 1901. And throughout their years together as a married couple, they came here during the summer. That was like their summer home. And Albert Sleeper, in the late 1910s, like 1916, 1917, he was the Michigan State governor for a few years. And then in the late in the early 1980s, um, this became a bed and breakfast, and it was first called the uh, Governor's Inn. But eventually, it got renamed to to, uh, to the Captain's Quarters Inn. But yeah, the, the, there's a few rooms available in the bed and breakfast. I think the the lowest priced room is about eighty five dollars, or uh, I might be off by a few dollars, but very affordable. Although on a weekend like this, it's probably full. Yeah, one thing I forgot to mention, the bed and breakfast is, is along Simon Street, just about a block north of, of the main little street, which goes through downtown Lexington, heading over to the M25, M90 intersection. But yeah, I gotta say, all the homes in here are quite beautiful. All right, just come a little bit further to the east on Simon Street, and here's Tierney Park. Got a little tennis court over there and come down here you have more of the park and then even a boardwalk which which will take us out to Lake Huron. So let's head over. And we're officially back to Lake Huron. We're here at the Lexington State Harbor and you can hear one of the boats possibly might be getting ready to head out. Yeah, really cool. And then, yeah, there's where we can start to head out to the lake itself. Yeah, yeah nobody's playing the volleyball course right now. But yeah, over here at the park, got a lot of kids and, 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 and even adults, too, going for a little swing. Got a play area over there, kind of over in the beach. And up here is the start of the little boardwalk here. As we, it's time for the Lexington Harbor. Oh, <laughs> gotta be careful there. And yeah, we have a little beach over here too. Although, as you can tell, it's not very large. So, you can tell people are laying on the sun all the or that far away from the water. But yeah, on a day like today, it's definitely a great day to get in the water. And we made it here to the end of the of the little pier or breakwater, and we got Lake Huron behind us. There. Oh, here they go. There are definitely a lot of boaters out on Lake Huron today, but on a day like today, it's like, why not? You can see it all the way down the shores of Lake Huron. I 
and got the general harbor and boat launch area but yeah this is absolutely fantastic uh, the breeze feels wonderful out right now because it is a little windy i'm gonna instead of what i normally do conclude the video over here i'm gonna head back in to shore and i'll conclude the video over there so that way you can probably be able to hear me a little bit better yeah, I figured I'd go ahead and conclude the video here because it's really windy out there, so you may not be able to hear me as well. But yep, Lexington has quite a bit to offer from a beautiful downtown area, a lot of restaurants in, in town, a lot of places to stay in different bed and breakfasts, and also the beautiful harbor and Lake Huron itself. So yeah, definitely come check it out. Although it's a holiday weekend, you might want to come early because parking is pretty limited here. <laughs> So if you enjoyed this video, definitely give this video a like or a thumbs up. For more Scott Mini 95 travel videos, definitely click the subscribe button as I upload videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. At the end of every video, like us by Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram pages. Well, thank you for watching today's video here in Lexington, Michigan. This is Scott signing out.